All right, people, this is South Korea. You notice a lot, a lot of cars. A lot of cars, a lot of buses, a lot of traffic. It is about 7.30 a.m. in the morning. I've been awake since 5.30 a.m. It was still dark out, so I didn't videotape anything. There's this nice little thing in the other direction. I want to show you guys because it's pretty cool. Well, I think it's pretty cool anyway. But anyway, see, you got motorcycles or scooters, I should say, parked everywhere. It's a pretty nice little town, this place. Oh, yeah, here we go. Is it open? That is the question. Yes, I believe it is. I think I should stop right here and get some breakfast. And they are open. The lights are on. Should I go there or should I go to my next favorite spot? Let me walk around for a little bit. Think this over. I mean, I'll get the same thing at either place, but this way you get to see a little bit of the city. But anyway, see so you got bus stops. It's a regular little town just like any other place. People are friendly. I was talking to this guy last night. You know one funny thing? A lot of people in this town, well, everyone I've come across, speaks English. Which makes it a hell of a lot easier for me. Makes it a hundred times easier for me. I mean, the cab driver spoke English. Uh, the lady that checked me in spoke English. I went to the convenience store, got a pack of cigarettes. The lady spoke English. And she told me the amount of the cigarettes. But I don't think she knows how to speak numbers in English. But my wallet was on the counter and it was just open. And she said, oh, can I? I was like, okay, go ahead. And she started pulling money out of my wallet. She only took like $4. Then I had a bunch of change in my pocket, and she took some change. So I don't think she ripped me off. Nice people in this town, bro. Like I said, Japan and South Korea are not that different. Pretty much the same. I'm going to cross the street over there later. Because that looks like an interesting spot down there. If this bus gets out of the way. See, a lot of buses, bro. Down there, looks pretty interesting. I see a lot of lights, a lot of buildings. I walked down this street earlier this morning. Oh, here goes a cigarette shop. No, it's closed down. But this is a pretty nice little spot. I like it. Oh, yeah, here we are. The question is, should I eat breakfast at the Dunkin' Donuts? Or should I eat breakfast in my favorite spot? Yeah. There's a McDonald's just down the block from where I'm staying. There's a convenience store. Oh, you can order McDonald's and they'll deliver it to your home. Ain't this about a bitch. Are you serious right now? I don't believe what I'm seeing. Okay. All right, so I opted for Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, I was at the McDonald's. There was nobody at the counter. And then I noticed this lady at this machine. And she was just, you know, touching the screen, doing whatever. I'm guessing she was ordering her food. I'm guessing that's how they order their food over there. But anyway, I got me some Dunkin' Donuts. And let's see what this tastes like. All right, people, see that? With a name like that, how could you not want to go down that street? I was down here earlier after I had breakfast, but I had to go back to the room. And now I'm back. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I saw in here earlier today. I'm crossing the street. Careful. Can't videotape people, so...
and this is what I saw earlier. Uh, they had one street blocked off. They were painting, but it's pretty tripped out in here. See, out there on the main road, it's just hustle and bustle. But if you come down these little streets over here, uh, see they have the other side blocked off. Earlier they had this side blocked off. Now they have this side blocked off. Check it out. Texas Street. Ah, I wanted to go down that street. But now I can't. But now I can go down this street. See, so you go down these little streets, and it's just like... It's like a whole different world in here. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty tripped out. Check it out. Family shop. Don't know what that means, but there you go. London bar. Ah, uh, here you go. Karaoke. Oh, King's Club. Foreigner. Live band club. It's closed now, but... You know what? These little streets, you come down here, it's like... Pretty tripped out. I wanted to go down that street. That street looked very interesting. See, because it keeps... It continues going. It keeps going down that way. I was down that street earlier. Was I? I think I was. I'm not 100% sure. But down here... You have all these little things. All these little shops. You have a motel right there. You have another motel over here. Basically, you have all these little different areas but you see it's like a totally different world in here let me see if I can get to the other side of the street all right I look like a tourist now but I really don't care it's because I am a tourist right now oh sorry and you got a street vendor over there you got all these little shops over here and there's a bunch of cops walking around don't know why that is Check this bed boy out. Oh, you go in there and there's even more stuff inside. You have to go downstairs in order to get to whatever that is. Uh, but you got these streets over here. You got street vendors. You got a coffee shop over here. There's a Starbucks around here I saw earlier as well. See, this is a street that's blocked off. I'm not going down there. Oh man, it's busy over here. Well, can't go straight, so. Sorry about the footage. There's another coffee shop. Ooh, that's the street I wanted to take you guys down. But check this out. This just keeps going and going, watch. It just keeps going and going. Both sides of the street. People are looking at me like, damn tourist, get out of here. <laughs> I'm not backtracking, only to backtrack again. Uh, but down that street, you have even more stuff. Anyway, let's go back over here. I really want to go down that street. If all these cars stop coming by, I'm going to be a tourist right now. I'm going to videotape some people and maybe upset them, but... Ooh, look at that. This is the entrance to the restaurant.
Man, that looks delicious. Too bad I'm not going to eat in there. Okay, you got a hair salon, you got a coffee shop. That girl looks lonely as hell. All right, cool. Check this out. All these little shops. And you got the police. Watch them pull me over and say, hey, why are you videotaping and shit? Check out this wall. And this street just keeps going and going. Let's just see what's... Nah, there's nothing down there. But this is pretty tripped out. The back roads. What's that? See, these are entrances to restaurants. Who would have ever thought? It looks like another karaoke bar. Who would have thought walking down the back streets you would see things like this? Oh, you got a Chinese restaurant here. All right, come on. Oh, that's the mailman. They're like, yeah, we got a tourist here. Oh, look at that. Gold Geo. That looks nice. You got restaurant after restaurant. Oh, check this out. Oh, history gallery. This is too cool not to show you. Pool tables inside the restaurant, but look at the food they got. Okay, telecom. Okay, telecom. Check out this one right across the street. And I'm not trying to trip on anything, but... It's pretty tripped out. Alright, no more people. Good. But, more cops. There is an extremely strong police presence around here. Oh, check this out. Oh, and the street just keeps going and going. Wow. This is tripped out. <laughs> Get out of the way. Move that wheelchair. <laughs> That's one thing I noticed around this place. Yesterday I was outside in front of the hotel just having a smoke. And that for whatever reason, there was an extremely large traffic jam. Don't ask me why, but there was. And people was just cutting each other off. There was just like, it's like nobody cared. Man, why are there so many cops around? Well, I'm just a tourist. I'm just videotaping. See that? There goes another entrance to another restaurant. Downstairs in the basement. I just got honked at saying, get out of the way. He honked at the cops, bro. Oh, man, there's a bunch of cops. I'm going to get back to the main road.